What's up guys, Josh from CaliforniaThroughMyLens.com. Today we're hiking Potato Chip Rock. While there are a few ways to hike to Potato Chip Rock, we started at the parking area for Lake Poway Park. Note that it does cost to park in this area on the weekends and the holidays. Today we're in the city of Poway and we're heading up on one of the most popular trails in Southern California to Mount Woodson and Potato Chip Rock. The hike is around seven and a half miles, climbing a little over 2,000 feet and it's one you don't want to underestimate. I haven't hiked this trail in probably six years, but when I did it, it was the summer and it was incredibly hot. I actually ran out of water, so pretty excited to be doing it in the winter time when it's a lot cooler. And if you do it in the summer, bring a lot of water. That is where we're going, somewhere up there in the clouds. The trail begins with great views of the lake as you climb up a small hill. You then descend down to the first sign, which is about a mile from the parking lot on the east side of the lake. We made it to the other side of the lake. That's where we started from, right there. 2.6 miles to the summit from here and it is rated difficult. We thought that we were gonna get lucky with the cloud cover, but as soon as we started the uphill portion, the sun came out and it was warm the rest of the hike. The reason why this hike is rated difficult is that we just passed the lake and now it's uphill all the way to the summit. It's about three miles and 2,000 feet of elevation gain, so it is steep. Now Whiston Trail, that way. After leaving the lake behind, we headed on the Mount Woodson Trail past some small shrubs and lots of large boulders. So many of these little spider webs all along the trail. This part of the trail is really nice in the morning. It's pretty steep, but it's got good shade. We reached a split. We're going that way. If you're looking to get some solitude on this hike, you gotta start early. It's incredibly popular on the weekends and it's still pretty well visited on the weekdays as well. There's a good little spot for a break at about the 1.5 mile mark. Even a little bit of shade if you're lucky. Taking a shade break while I'm waiting for Jared, don't underestimate this hike, it is definitely steep. Don't miss this junction. Mount Woodson Summit, 1.9 miles, that way. Once the trail splits with Warren Canyon, you'll start the steep incline that takes you pretty much all the way to the summit. I really like the views on this trail. There's all sorts of cool boulders and stuff you can see while you're hiking up. Shout out to all the trail crews. We just passed one, breaking up these rocks and making the trail nice. Be sure to take the shade breaks when you get them. Cause it is hot and it's in the middle of the winter. <laughs> Since the trail was so well maintained, it was easy to follow and made for a pleasant hike where you're not as worried about rolling an ankle on the loose rock and you could just enjoy the scenery. Come on people, how's their acai bowl trash up here? What the heck? There's the trail that we came up. We're just heading up this mountain. Here the trail is traded out for rocky steps that help you gain elevation as you make it up towards the ridge line. We're just continuing to go up. The benefit to this elevation gain is that the views continue to get better and better as you make your way up. We're about 2.5 miles in and 1,200 feet of elevation. The views are pretty incredible. About a mile and a half and a thousand or so feet left to go. We've made it to the ridge junction. There's a viewpoint over there. We're going that way. And here is another junction. That direction. As we continued to make it up, we got views all the way out into the ocean and towards San Diego. We managed the ridge line, so most of the elevation is gone, but I just passed somebody who said there was like 100 people at the rock, so it might be popular today even though it's a weekday. 
Eventually the trail starts to flatten out a little more as you make your way towards Potato Chip Rock and the towers on the top of Mount Woodson. There's the first view of the summit of Mount Woodson. Potato Chip Rock is before the summit. We have reached the end of the City Maintained Trail. I'm just gonna reiterate this one more time. Do not do this trail in the summer unless you start super early. It is so hot and the sun beats down on you with no shade. As we made our last push, we got our first view of our destination. There's our first view of Potato Chip Rock. There's a little bit of a line up here, but not the 100 people that the person said. When we finally made it to the rock, it was not too crowded, but we decided to head up and finish the peak before waiting for our turn to take a photo. It's not bad, only 10 or so people at Potato Chip Rock, but we're going to the summit first and then we're gonna go take some pictures down there. I'm not sure where the summit marker is. Maybe it's over there somewhere. I'm trying to find the summit marker, but I have no idea where it is, so I think we're just gonna head back to Potato Chip Rock. All right, yeah, I really can't find it, but summit of Mount Woodson, we made it. <laughs> After not being able to find the summit marker, we walked back down and waited for our turn to take photos at Potato Chip Rock. Note that walking up onto the rock is not easy as you basically have to jump over to the base of it and many people elected to not even go across to take a photo when we were there. It's well worth the effort though as the views from the rock are cool and the pictures of you on the rock are cool as well. Made it to the top of Potato Chip Rock. Since it had been so long since I had visited the rock, I had to take one of the most common photos while I was there. Do note that I've heard on the weekends there can be up to an hour's wait to get a photo on the rock. All that said, it is a pretty fun spot to take a hike though. All right, we're leaving Potato Chip Rock and we're heading back to the car. Thanks for hiking with us and we'll see you on the next video. People have been asking where I eat after a hike, so I'll try to include it on future videos. For this video, we went to Burger Bench in Escondido.